In this video we're going to look at the basic laws of arithmetic. You most probably know these laws without realising it. This video and the next two in the playlist will formalise your knowledge. We're going to start off by looking at the commutative law. The four basic arithmetic operations are simply addition with a plus sign, subtraction, we use a minus sign, multiplication and division. Now, addition and subtraction may be thought of as opposites. Likewise, multiplication and division can be paired up and again may be thought of as opposites. Now, by opposites, what we really mean, if you add up two numbers, you can manipulate the same numbers again with the subtraction and get back to the original numbers. Just think carefully about that. I'm not really going to cover it here. Likewise, if you multiply two numbers together, you can perform a division to get the original numbers back. Again, give some thought to that particular process. But in general, addition and subtraction are kind of regarded as a, a pairing. Multiplication and division are also regarded as a kind of pairing. Let's consider the following property. We're going to take 5 and we're going to add it to 4 and we get 9. Now we're going to take 4 and we're going to add it to 5 to get 9. So 5 plus 4 equals 9 and of course 4 plus 5 also equals 9. So we can say 5 plus 4 equals 4 plus 5. 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. So we can say 2 times 3 equals 6 and 3 times 2 equals 6. Therefore, 2 times 3 is the same as 3 times 2. We can see that any two integers can be added or multiplied in any order without affecting the result. Addition and multiplication are commutative operations. Let's consider the following example. 5 minus 3 is 2. We swap these round, so we have 3 minus 5, we get minus 2. So 5 minus 3 is 2, whereas 3 minus 5 is minus 2. So 5 minus 3 cannot be equal to 3 minus 5. This is the not equal sign. Let's look at division. Let's take 10 and we'll divide that by 5 and we get 2. Swap them round and we have 5 divided by 10, which is 0.5. 10 divided by 5 is 2 and 5 divided by 10 is 0.5. So we can say that 10 divided by 5 is not equal to 5 divided by 10. We can see that the order in which two integers are subtracted or divided does affect the results. Subtraction and division are not commutative operations. Now compare that with addition and multiplication, and we can say they are commutative. Kind of put crudely, commutative is to do with the order of these basic arithmetic operations. Sometimes the order in which you perform them doesn't matter and in other occasions it does as you've just seen by the examples in this particular video. <laughs>